Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from FinSuite. In this video, we're going over search icons and how to implement with a mouse click. What we're going to do is click on this search icon and it's going to animate into an X. There we go. So this would be something that is possible with IX2 but would maybe require a little bit of advanced knowledge and a little bit too much playing around. So we're going to do this really nice icon animation with Lottie. Okay, we have our Lottie icon on the page. It's also going to be the trigger. So when we click this icon, it is going to trigger the flow of the Lottie animation. We're gonna set up this element trigger on mouse click tap. And here we're gonna jump into our interaction and it's first click on first click and on second click, we are going to implement a different timed animation. Let's go into the first one. So here in the first one, we are giving the Lottie icon an initial state of 0% and we are going to make it go to 58% with a duration of 1.3 after that first click. And like we just looked at, that's what's going to happen. You can see that if it's a little bit less, it's not going to form the full X. We've also created a backward state here that goes back out. So we're gonna go right in the middle where we have the full X, nice. Let's also make this a little bit faster. It seemed a little bit slow on my end. And let's go maybe 0.4. Let's make this nice and quick. Nice. Okay, so we have our first click ready to go. Sweet, make it a little bit less. I wanna see, I wanna see that nice icon animation here. So let's make that a 0.8. Okay, and then on second click, let's bring that back to the state where we have the full search icon. And that is going to animate the rest of the icon. So we have two options here. We, are, we were at 53% for the first click. We can animate back out this way, or we can animate up to 99. And for this example, we're going up to 99. So we have a first click and a second click, two different timed animations. It is toggling back and forth between 53 and 99. And great, this is looking great and it's going to give a really nice custom feel to showing and hiding this text field. And of course, if you're using this icon animation, make sure you're actually allowing the user to show and hide this. So this can animate out from, let's say 0% width to its full width, or it can come in or out from the top and bottom. So this is a great way to show and hide. This is how you implement the search icon on mouse click. That's effing sweet.